everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Bobby Experience. I have uh, a guest, special guest on the show that's uh, been on the show uh, before. Jeremy, welcome back. Thank you. Good to be back. All right, and uh, today's topic, uh, what we're going to be discussing. Well, first I want to mention we're back at the Starbucks where we last uh, discussed things uh, involving entertainment. Comics. Uh, right, comics. Uh, and we talked about... Uh, Possibility of Leonardo DiCaprio being a the Joker. That's right. Right, and it, that's right. It was under the Ing Verb uh, channel. Uh, no, it's under the Bobby Experience. Mm -hmm. uh, but without further ado, I just want to jump in to get straight to the topic we're going to talk about. Uh, very disappointing news. Uh, it's been confirmed. Uh, Andrew Lincoln will be leaving The Walking Dead. That's sad news, and he is not the only one who's leaving the show. True, that's uh, Lauren Cohen will also uh, be leaving the show. And this is what I find uh, disappointing about is that it, it's going to deviate so much from the comic material. There is so much story that involves both of their characters that we're not going to see play out. That's what, what I find to be very sad. But, I mean, when you, when you have uh, actual actors, uh, human beings that have their choices and and uh, in these individuals when it comes to where they, how long they want to stay in a show or, or leave a show once their contract's up, uh, they have that choice. And even though us as the fans want to see them stay. Mm -hmm. I, I understand the reason, some of the reasoning behind these actors wanting to leave the show, I assume they want to pursue other projects and do other things, and perhaps they feel that their characters have uh, had enough of their storylines play out, and they just want to pursue other things. They've, they've got families. Uh, Andrew Lincoln, as we were talking about, is from the UK, so I imagine he misses his family and wants to spend time back in the UK, and uh, I, I believe he has a presence on stage as well, so he has done stage work, I, I assume actors such as him want to get back to doing stuff like that as well. Right, and from what I heard though, uh, supposedly a, a big reason he wants to leave is that uh, his son, the, char is the character of Carl, left, and from what I understand he doesn't feel like he should stay much longer, but and that's what bothers me too, which is a bit of a separate topic, but also the same topic when it comes to characters leaving the show uh, because Carl he's still alive in the comics mm -hmm. both Carl and Rick father and son are both in in the comics and, and you know. that comic wouldn't be the comic without the two of those characters those characters were, were there from the very beginning uh, but the show I believe the show can take off without that I think it could do other things without that We've got Fear the Walking Dead. That doesn't involve any characters in the comics, and it's very much its own story. And right now, I think it's doing a lot better having Flash forward than being set in the past. And so I think if they start telling different stories within this world that they've created as their apocalypse, uh, I, I think that they can uh, pursue other stories and tell other stories. I think there's a lot of story potential there. Not just mining from the comics, but uh, deviating and playing around. Right, and to switch gears a, a little bit, but then we'll switch, I was thinking like us switching gears mm -hmm. uh, back is uh, briefly about Lauren Cohen. She she has this deal with this uh, pilot called um, Whiskey Cavalier. I, oh. I don't know a whole lot about it other than she'll be on this show. Uh, don't know what it's about, uh, but... I don't know what her her reasoning is to wanting to leave The Walking Dead other than she wants to explore different options. But I would think Greg Nicotero, Nicotero and all other people's staff and crew could have agreed to pay her more if it's an issue of pay. Yeah. Yeah. Or or is it more to it than that? I I don't know. What the stuff I'm reading online I I can't have I don't have a clear answer as to why she's leaving the show other than 
pursuing being on this other uh, this other show. I it it makes me think of what's going on right now with Arrow. I don't know if any of you guys are watching Arrow. You should. Um, but Paul Blackthorne and Willa uh, Thompson, I believe her last name is, both have left Arrow. Uh, Paul Blackthorne recently got a show on NBC that he's going to be pursuing. So I imagine uh, Lauren Cohen and Andrew Lincoln are probably leaving along similar lines. They just want to pursue some other things in their career. Right, and at the end of the day, them being professionals, it's their choice. Right. I mean, as much as we want to see them stay and... Uh, continue in this Walking Dead universe that plays out on the on the screen if the if you don't want to be a part of it we can't force people to stay uh, but here's the thing with it the Walking Dead being the Walking Dead the way it is is that we have characters that die off here and there and uh, we know that it, um, they said no one is safe but what bot what bothers me, Jeremy, is that uh, the reasons that uh, Andrew Lincoln uh, and Lauren Cohen's characters, uh, Rick and Maggie, are leaving, it's because of external reasons, not because the, the writers des- decided to, or as far as we know, and unless it was perfectly timed, oh, they're, they were gonna, there's a plan to have them leave anyways, but from what I understand, no, the plan was to have them be on the show indefinitely. Uh, and I'm, I'm almost, I'm 99% sure because of the comic source material that the plan was to have Rick and perhaps Maggie be, be on indefinitely. But it, it definitely, I would imagine, because Rick is the one that started that whole universe, both on screen and in comics. Right, from the moment he opened his eyes, right. or even before that, he ended up in the hospital right. uh, where he ended up with the gunshot wounds and he's in a coma. Mm-hmm. It was centered around Rick. Uh, and question is okay what's the walking dead going to be like without without rick and we haven't even had that question answered even in the comics because he's still alive well he's he's in the is in the best of shape i mean he, his legs uh is messed up he's he has a what a cane and you're spoiling the comics for me, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I, the okay. I should have given okay. a spoiler That's alert okay. to like you folks watching. I mean, I assume most of you guys are watching know that we're gonna be. Yeah, That's okay. That's all right. I'm sorry. About <laughs> That's that. all right. I, 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 I don't know you. I thought you didn't. Get, I thought you already got that far already. That's all right. But um, what do you think the show is gonna do once they're gone? Well, m- this my my theory is that uh, from what I heard, you know, Jeffrey Dean Morgan Negan mm-hmm. is gonna be around for the the long run uh, for the long haul from what I heard and, and you and you talk about this Norman Reedus mm-hmm. he's going to be 20 million dollar contract for him to take the lead of the show that's going to be interesting right so so my theory it's going to be focused on uh, Daryl and uh, Negan it's going to be their show and they're going to be uh, have an uneasy alliance working together, and even off screen, you can see their buddies like they right. ride bikes together. Right. So it's going to be their show. But it, what I was telling you earlier before we were doing this video, I, I don't think I'm ready to see Negan become the anti-hero just, just yet. Okay. I mean, it, uh, because they, right at this moment, unless they do some sort of time jump uh, with the show, with this next upcoming season, and that hasn't been confirmed yet. I mean, it. There's still some tension that still exists, obviously with Daryl and Negan's characters, and even just with the rest of the the crew as well. I mean, right now Rick in the in the show, Rick is not the best guy as far as the rest of the group goes. Norman, uh, Daryl, and Maggie, they're not big fans of Rick right now. Right. They they weren't for the choice of keeping Negan alive. Right. And. Bit of a, yeah, a bit of a spoiler. If you didn't wrap, if you're not a caught up with The Walking Dead, they let, they let Negan live, and um, it showed uh, Maggie um, meeting with uh, Daryl and Jesus, and uh, said something along the lines of, "We'll we'll bid our time, and then we'll strike." Mm-hmm. And oh, that could be what next season is going to be all about. 
right and interpret that as how you will but I think their plan is to uh, infiltrate that prison where Neg that jail cell where Negan's in is and try to kill him um, and I guess Rick and, and uh, Michonne will will do what they can to uh, keep Negan alive for for the purpose of trying to create this new kind of society where they're no longer under uh, Negan's philosophy of um, of living, of having to kill. Uh, I, I, I just don't like the way the direction of the show can be going because this just means my opinion. I think that um, no matter how they choose to... Um, and uh, Rick or Maggie's story arc, and I feel like any way it's gonna be forced because it's for the sake of them leaving, True. the actors leaving the show, and not because you were creatively able to figure out a way where they're gonna exit. It's going to be based on some kind of time crunch they have because they only have so many episodes with them. So there's, I think, if I could imagine them in the um, in the writers' room. They're scrambling to figure out like some way yeah. of how to end their story, and it's gonna look to me. I think no matter what they come up with, it's. Well, can I pose you another question? Yeah, absolutely, of course. Cool. What do you? What are your thoughts on fate or possible fate of Fear the Walking Dead? <sighs> okay, I'll be. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Like, I, I'm actually not cut up with that show. Okay. Um, but I, I've been reading little stuff here and there where I ended up spoiling it for myself. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, what I think... You shared about this, about like how the shows would come together. I don't... That's my thought. It's a possibility. I kind of hope they do do that because I think Madison and, and uh, uh, the group on that show, uh, all the actors are doing a fine job. I think Morgan served as a great crossover between the two shows. And I'm really hoping to see more of the characters that have been introduced. Naomi is a strong character. Um, you're gonna love John. Right. You need to watch John's character. He's a fantastic character. Guy with the cowboy hat, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, there, I see potent, there's some potential there. I mean, uh, so I guess we're gonna see Morgan come back. And I guess what they're gonna come. It's gonna be all one, one show now. One uh, Walking Dead show. I don't know. That's that's kind of my hope because I think with all these actors and characters. Uh, leaving the show, you need something else to keep it going, and, and you have such strength with the, the characters on Fear the Walking Dead, uh, those are the characters you need to bring on, because we already know them, there's no introduction necessary on Walking Dead, as long as you've, you've seen the other show. If you've seen the other show, you know who these guys are, bring them on. Right. See, I, I want to see what the dynamic is between these characters, and see how they interact. Right. Uh... Do you mind if I discuss things that are further in the comic? I know, but you don't want—I don't want to spoil it for you. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I'll live. Go ahead. Okay. All I can say is that there's a group called the Whispers. Okay. You did you at least heard of them? Maybe like, I've heard of them. Okay. Yes. All I can say is, is without giving away go too ahead. much, is that I want to see Rick and Maggie around. For this whisper war, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be there. Or what scares me is that what if they're the cause of their demise? Oh, if if there, if there's going to be that uh, somewhat iconic death, um, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I'll okay. show it. I'll, I'll I, I might show a little picture here of what that could potentially look like uh, with these spikes. Um, but with this upcoming war that may happen, I mean, because who are the next big bads? I mean, I, I don't know, like, what, what's what's going to happen because the only future I could foreseeable future I can see right now is that okay, them trying to protect Negan from uh, Maggie and Daryl's group who are against keeping him alive, and eventually the wisp, this group, the Whispers, coming okay. or some other bad group, human beings that. You have to defend their turf from. So I'll just say this: Don't, don't you? I want to ask you here this question: Like, when it comes to The Walking Dead and the way they kill off characters, do you think that they shot themselves in the foot when it comes to when actors decide that they want to leave themselves? 
do I think they shot themselves in the foot? Uh, actors have a right to come and go if they want to. I, I think that uh, contracts aside, I think if actors decide they, they have done all they can on a TV show and they want to leave, more power to them. But as far as Walking Dead goes, yes, I want to see more Rick, I want to see more Maggie, but the show's been going on for, what, nine years right. already? About that, yeah. Uh, Carl cannot stay a kid forever. They can't do what they do in comics and have uh, such a stretch of time play out the way it does in comics versus television. Um, you could only have a kid be a kid for so long before right. it's not believable that he's uh, well. Well, in the, in, in the comics, he's like he's, he's like a young adult. Okay. Well, he's very pre young adult, so. He's somewhat like a, I think what he's like a college age kid, okay, around that time. So I mean, I, I, and the only reason I think they, what they killed Carl is, so it gave Rick a, a, inspired him a reason to keep Negan alive. That's what it seemed like. It's, you know, I, Rick, uh, Carl had that last wish is to have peace among the communities with the saviors, and he want I guess Rick. It was Rick's motivation to have that being his dying wish fulfilled, and that's that's the only reason. The I feel that way with Rick and certainly Michonne as well. With the way that she read those letters from Carl, that was a there was a very moving scene. I, I felt right. And going back to uh, Rick and Maggie exiting the show, it's. I mean, well. How are they going to have him bow out? I, There's I only one way, I think. It's oh, death? Yes. They're not just going to walk off into the sunset. That I don't think it's that kind of story. I think Did the only way is through some kind of war. Uh, the whispering dead. war that you were talking about. That's that's going to be a harsh one. That's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, it, next year is going to be a very different season, I feel. But. And... Uh, depending on what they do with the shows after these actors leave, it's going to be a very different show. And it's, yeah, I think it'll be interesting. Well, there, there's an exception when Morgan left, but then he came back. Right. And same with that uh, character at, at the beginning of the season, the, the uh, Mexican family, I believe. I think they were Mexican. But then one, one of them came back, the, the father and husband, and, and he, he has uh, Rick at gunpoint, and he's saying that his family died. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember the, the character or the actor's name. Um, but if people leave the show, generally what I've seen, if they leave the show, they run into him again. Yes, and it's, it's different with Morgan because he's still part of the Walking Dead universe. Right. However, Rick and Maggie, the actors are leaving the show. There's only one way to deal with their characters if they're leaving the show. There's uh, one, uh, I don't know whether it's like uh, some fan that made a comment or like an article, but uh, one person had this theory where there'll be a situation where Rick does something really, really bad, something, a really poor choice that, for example, causes Maggie to die oh. and he gets exiled or he decides mutually that he should leave the community uh, which could leave you know a, a possibility that the door would still be open for him to come back somehow but I no matter how Andrew Lincoln and Maggie leave the show it's it, it's going to be painful but because number one it was based on their choice and number two it's something that I think the the writers scramble to decide to make when it, it it's gonna be something that's not I, I, and what I think is not as well thought out thought out as like other people's debts no matter what they do I think we'll be watching and we'll definitely be talking about it uh, I'm interested to see what happens uh, like I said it'll be a very different show afterwards but we will certainly be watching. 
right? And I, I wonder, like, depending on how things play out after they're gone, will will The Walking Dead still be worth the watching? Will the will there be some good storylines? Uh, I mean, could uh, Daryl and Negan could they be uh, <coughs> if they go that direction? Could they be make a great that great new team that leads leads a show against this zombie apocalypse or whatever kinds of uh, group of uh, bandits or cannibals that they face. I think Norman Reedus could certainly lead that show. I they just have to give him the chance and have the right story to propel him to become the leader of, of the group. But I think he could definitely lead that show. He's been on it long enough. Uh, his character's been through enough in terms of the stories that they've told. I think he could definitely lead the show. And I want to see what that looks like uh, before judging what happens to the rest of the show. Right. And I wonder how the dynamic of... Uh, I mean, this is just speculation, but if it is Daryl and Negan together, like, oh, how would that... Would that be a great uh, dynamic. How, well, right, I mean, there'd, there'd be so much tension because oh, of their yeah. history, and then it, them being forced to work together. Um, and, of course, they're, they're pre- probably going to be duking it out a lot of times, too, and then mm-hmm. being forced, still being forced to work together, even though, like, uh, they despise each other, or, or at least Daryl despises Negan. And... Negan, the character, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan, those, that actor is just so good. And the two of them, they are buddies. They've, they've ridden bikes. They've, right. they've been on other shows together. It would be so cool to see them on screen together. I want to see what their dynamic would look like. So I guess there could still be some hope for the show. And um, perhaps the, the Walking Dead can... Uh, exist without Rick. I mean, they even said themselves, okay, nobody's safe, and we're just going to put our trust in the, in the writers um, and the director that they can still tell a story that's worth watching, even with uh, major characters leaving. I mean, I, I, I'm not, I haven't been watched much of like uh, that other show. Uh, Fear the Walking Dead? Not Fear the Walking Dead, but um, totally different uh, genre. Um, Game of Thrones, where they're oh, kill, yeah. killing off a- anyone and everybody, but even though people die off in The Walking Dead, it's there's people that stick around. I know I would think much longer than a show like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, I feel like it, it's a challenge for the writers to, with a show like Walking Dead to keep the story going and uh, to be able to tell these stories where to create a direction of, of where these characters are going and their struggles uh, when certain characters are absent. So I, but I wonder like how how far ahead did he plan these things? Did, did, it, did it come to Nick, Greg Nicotero and um, the other um, people on staff did, and what just come to their mind about, well what if this person leaves, he decided he wanted to leave the show or uh, this person can't continue or we gotta kill off so and so. How did they have plans B, C, and D available? That's what I would, you know, I would hope so. I, I would think that they would certainly be shooting themselves in the foot that they didn't have those plans. So to answer your question before, those plans were probably placed well before these actors decided to leave. I, I'm certain there's some kind of uh, direction that these that the writers want to go in without these actors. So that, w- that would be shooting themselves in the foot big time. I agree with you on that because there's a certain time where the seasons are are placed out, and if they're not ready, then it becomes this extension of, of when like where they're not putting this out for AMC, and they, and they want to make money, and AMC wants to wants to make money, so they got to get the story out there and get it ready, and ready for the for the audience. AMC is going to milk that show as much as possible, so. No matter who leaves or who stays or who comes, who goes, AMC is going to want to milk that as much as possible because that's that's like their baby with with all the other shows that they have and uh, Walking Dead is like at the center of it. Right. And there's some folks that are watching out there that say, "Oh well, if you you can't say you're truly a fan if you're going to stop watching the show once one person's dead." But I think there's an exception when it comes to somebody like like Rick because it's been centered around him and it's. 
Yeah. I think there's so much that that, that changes. Uh, so, of course, okay, you're going to be faithful to the show, but I mean, how faithful can you be if you know all these certain characters are being killed off, and you're left with with certain people that I don't know, maybe you don't care for as much, or you don't see as like uh, someone that compels you to continue to watch. I mean, some people that they've, they've said, "Oh well, if you kill Daryl, we riot." But there's some folks that don't that, that aren't fans of Daryl, that that aren't big fans of Daryl, that that might not even want to see him on be, be a leader. But I guess he's going to be forced to be a leader. Right? That's, that's the direction of the show. That's the twenty million dollar contract that they're working on right now right. is to have the character of Daryl lead that show. Right. But Interesting. It, but something about The Walking Dead too, it's it's a bit of a roller coaster. We get excited for when uh, as soon as you hear that theme music playing the violins and uh, you see the names of the characters come up and then all of a sudden like you're devastated when somebody dies and but it, but there's some characters that that die you think, No, not not that not that character. No, I mean some people like they, they gave up on the show after Glenn died, but he died in the com. Not everybody watches the comics, but he he died. But then it was both. Uh, it, it was not. It was Glenn before him, but then it was Abraham. He killed two characters on that day when there was that lineup where Negan bashed their heads in. And then uh, some people gave up on the show after Carl died, and that's understandable because he's still alive in the comic. And, and what what does Rick have to live for to protect? So, like, what is his main motivation to? Because now, now his son's gone. I mean, now Rick's going to be... It, this zombie apocalypse, it, it's going to be more brutal than I think originally planned. I'm kind of interested to hear what other people have to say. So it'll be interesting to see what you guys think about this. And uh, I'm curious, what are your thoughts? All right. But this, uh, this has just been really thought-provoking. Uh, it really comes down to, okay, uh, how are Rick and uh, Maggie going to be off the show? H how are they going to most likely die? And what's the new direction the show is going to take? Uh, is, is it going to be the, the Negan and Daryl show? Or... We, we don't know, uh, for sure. I mean, it, it's all speculation. Uh, yeah, leave your comments below. Um, like, should, comment, subscribe. Right. Well, put down your theories, uh, your thoughts. But uh, this is Bobby uh, with Bobby Experience signing off. Uh, this is Jeremy. All right. Have a good day. Have a good day, and uh, see you next time. Mm -hmm.